the thing that jumped to my mind okay. is our conversation in the hospital. Oh yeah. Going back and forth where uh, Britta has taken upon herself to become a counselor. And so last year uh, she was doing, so she, uh, it, this was this episode was where Chevy, uh, Chevy or Pierce, uh, Chevy who plays Pierce, is in the hospital and he tells me my father is coming back and he's coming to the hospital that day. So uh, Britta clearly sees that I am having trouble with that and so she decides that she wants to do some role playing. And, Not uh, sexy kind, just therapy no, kind. No, therapy kind, just like she said. So she says something like, hi. I'm your, I'm your I'm Jeff's dad. And I go, "Hi, I'm Britta's gay dad." And then then she goes, "Wait, what?" And it goes on from there. And That was um, pretty good. Uh, I love that little exchange was. How about you? Jenny? Oh, just anytime I'm with Joel, basically, it's yeah, just a highlight that's it. for me. Uh, let me th <laughs> I thought you were going to say jumping through the door is like your diehard moment in season 1 Paintball because that to me is very iconic for our show. Oh. Um, I know what my favorite of yours is. What? Well, whenever you <laughs> sing. Uh, when she did the, uh, in the uh, Timelines episode, uh -huh. she did it a bunch of times when she was so excited when the pizza was coming. Oh yes, I have a new thing called a hungy dance, where uh, when my character is excited about food, she sings and dances about it. And I get a lot of messages on Twitter that now when people get pizza delivered to their house, they too do the hungy dance. So yeah. I'm very proud of that. And that hungry dance turned into the Christmas dance. Yes, yes, I know it's evolved same, into- Same, same tune. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can be excited about Christmas or pizza. So I'm just learning all the things I can be excited about this <laughs> year. <laughs> uh, my, one of my favorite lines that I've ever said, uh -huh. I keep going, is in the uh, Dungeons and Dragons episode where Chevy and I are screaming at each other. <laughs> Not only uh, during the argument, he just randomly screams out, I can still get erections. <laughs> and then I go, what? And then, <laughs> And uh, then my character goes, oh, I, what was something he says to me, it's like, well, I guess, uh, what, you just always want to be alone? And then my character goes, yes! <laughs> that is exactly what I want. So, that was really satisfying. Wait till you see Gillian as, uh, uh, well, I can't really say it. What? It'll reveal when you're wearing the things. The things? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. yeah you, better, you better watch these episodes or else. Yeah. Horrible. Yeah, they're terrible. They're, um, well, it's not only are they terrible to be with, but they can't act. No, they can't. Did you know that aside from Joel and I, everybody else on the show is a hologram? It's mm -hmm. very expensive to produce our show because those other actors don't actually exist. So yeah. we have to get a computer to generate them and then beam them into the scene with us. So. I think that's what Chevy actually thinks. It's that. made Joel and I have a really, you know, close friendship because we are the only actors on the show. The problem is we become paranoid because we keep checking see that we haven't been replaced with holograms. Yeah. So we just take a little pin and we stick ourselves in the hand. Mm -hmm. Make sure you're real. That's right. why you zippered my arm. Yeah, I zippered. I actually, one year, I, one, she had this awesome leather coat and I thought it'd be so funny to zip this zipper up and, and then zip it back down. And when I zipped it back down, I caught all of her skin opening up her skin and she still has a scar. Uh, yeah, it's faded. Yep. It's faded. But I would like you to name another cast right now on television that has a character who dresses up usually like a lady and also won an Oscar this year. Hmm? Exactly. Jim Rash, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, I mean, we have an Oscar winner. We really love everyone that we work with. They're insanely talented. They're nice people. We work incredibly long hours and we still like each other. So that's a real miracle. That's all very true, even though I was mocking it during it. But it's true. <laughs> Well, I'm normally either a prostitute or a stripper. That's true. Usually also a rape victim and normally a drug addict. So it's right in line with all those other parts. It's just, it's a continuation of everything I've done before. Um, no, this is the, <laughs> this is, this is a great part for me because I feel like it's turned into a profoundly silly, goofy, um, weird character, which is really fun and not a lot of times as an actress on TV do you get to be deeply strange. And so I'm very grateful for this part and the ability to showcase my off-pitch singing to America. It's awesome. <laughs> uh, this is different because I usually play a rape victim, drug addict, <laughs> run away. So, uh, well, let's see. Um, how different is it? Most recently I've been playing uh, similar jerks, just even bigger jerks than 
than Jeff Winger is. So I guess this is a toned down version of a lot of the characters <laughs> I'm playing. I guess I'm being typecast. Uh, but uh, Great victim, jerk. Yeah, the great thing about being on a show like this is that you do get to do lots of stuff with your character. So we can be in an action movie or in a horror film or uh, trapped uh, in a space bus. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, you get to do all these things that I never dreamed I would get to do. And so it's been a great ride that I would like to keep going for another four <laughs> years. I feel like um, we have a sci-fi level of fandom with our show. It's like the sort of fandom that you would normally see at a sci-fi convention, and uh, which is why I think it's so great when we go to Comic-Con because it's sort of a meeting of the two worlds. It's like we're their favorite comedy, I feel like. Yeah. you know. So it's just like an explosion of fandom all over your face. Wow. Body. Um, no, I feel like. You saved it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm really grateful for them because, you know, we got taken off the schedule this year and they kept people talking about our show every single week. And they talked about our show so much that it went beyond the little bubble of our super fans into sort of the general consciousness. And my friends who aren't in this industry at all said, like, the internet is really upset that your show has been pulled. You know, it's sort of like it went beyond just the however many millions of people watch our show each week. and. Um, Hopefully that you know they continue to tell their friends to tell their friends to tell their friends and they have viewing parties and they have flash mobs for us and they're just the best. Uh, I, and ditto. They had a flash mob at Rockefeller Center in New York. They had one outside of the NBC building in Burbank. Then they had in one Chicago. in Atlanta. They come dressed as us from the show. They print out lyrics of songs from our show and Christmas sing them. Chang. Yeah. They wear the darkest timeline goatee. Yeah, they are amazing. Yeah, without them, I th I don't think there, there would definitely, obviously not be the h hype coming back. Yeah. The job coming back. Uh, uh, and I think there was, I think they created such a loud uh, stir that um, I think it's back uh, partially because of them. So hopefully that will reflect in ratings. But I, yeah, it's always weird because you will see it's a very bizarre thing because the ratings won't be very high, but then we'll be trending worldwide for yeah. the show. Yeah, we had like... Or trending after, you know, a couple hours after. Yeah, when our Christmas episode was the last one to air on TV, and we had like nine trending topics on Twitter that night as it was airing on the East Coast. And we were sitting there watching it on set, not shooting, refusing to shoot while the episode was airing, and checking our phone. And as the episode went on, it's like Troy and Abed. Uh, and then something about like a song from the episode, and then mm -hmm. another thing from Six the episode. The movie, yeah, yeah, so it was just amazing to see, you know, that many people are talking about our show at once. Um, and that was like, that was the way we left yeah. TV for a couple of months, was on that high, which was, I think, nice for us to see. If, if I could cared. open mouth kiss every one of those fans, I would. With tongue. Yeah, not mine. Another tongue in his mouth. I would open mouth kiss some, that. With a cadaver tongue. With a cadaver tongue. <laughs> a monkey tongue. There'll be a Law and Order episode. Yeah. There'll be yams. There will be yams. A lot of yams, and I'm not joking. There'll be a pillow fort. Or no, uh, yeah. blanket fort war. Yeah, a geodesic dome constructed out of pillows. Uh, a video game. Yes. Huge video game. Uh, it will be. It will be shot like there, you'll see us as video game characters. I think the trailer for our, the second se half of our season has hinted at the fact that I may or may not be dressed as Michael Jackson. That is may or may, that may or may not be true. The internet. <laughs> the internet has informed me of the fact that I look like Michael Jackson. <laughs> okay, this is now a confirmed fact. I do like how though in the clip you go hee hee. I know. Like Michael Jackson. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, you know, you got to take advantage of that. We have awesome guest stars. Yes. We have John Hodgman. Yes. We have French Stewart. Rob Corddry. Uh, Malcolm Mike Jamal Warner. 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 Malcolm Jamal Warner. Warner. And from Breaking Bad. Brian Cranston's stunt double. No. John uh, Carlo Esposito. That's John Carlo Esposito. Uh, and that's it. Yeah. Oh, and Johnny Depp. Paul McCartney. Nothing. My character dies. Uh, well, I have a major. 
I have a major now. She I is a major. I have a major. I have a highlighter, I have a backpack, and I have a major. So I'm gonna pursue that major to its fullest, which is psychology. So I'm gonna therapize the hell out of some people. Yeah, and I sit and make fun of her the entire time. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna shrink some heads. That and Han Solo. I Not mean, Harrison the, Ford. No, ha, the, the Han character. Solo. <laughs> I mean, if anything, yeah. Uh, yeah, that would be a dream. Uh, we through. should. We need to somehow convince him that it's a Wes Anderson set. Yeah. And we could maybe lure him maybe there. Maybe we could get Wes Anderson to direct an episode. Oh my God. And then that would get him there. Bill. Internet, make it happen. Yeah. Spin it up, internet. <laughs> set set your keyboards on fire. Give me some love.